Hello everyone and welcome to Kanyiri Grows. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through how I cook my beetroots. Yes, so I've been growing these beetroots since last year. So they overwintered and now we are in, uh, in May. So they've become so huge and mainly I grow my beetroots because I love to eat the leaves. Yes, I am not very keen on the beets uh, themselves, the roots, but uh, I do enjoy cooking the leaves. They do taste a bit like spinach, but they are very nutritious and they are very delicious as well. So you see me here, I'm just uh, harvesting these beetroots and uh, I just cut them from the bottom, just like uh, the spinach. The same way you'd uh, harvest the spinach or the Swiss chard. Is the same way I'm just um, harvesting these beetroots so I'm just cutting at the bottom of the stem and I do have quite a lot and uh, this in this video I'm going to be cooking only beetroots but uh, sometimes I do like to mix my beetroots with other vegetables like kale or I can um, mix together with the Swiss chard or uh, I can mix together with any other uh, leafy green that I have. But uh, in today's video, for the sake of this video, I'm only going to be cooking beetroots, which I also, also enjoy. So I do have uh, more beetroots on this side and I will be harvesting all of them today. So stay tuned to see how we harvest these, how we prepare them and how we are going to be cooking them. So as you can see, it was a huge harvest, but uh, well, don't be fooled. This is just a harvest for one meal because they do go down just like spinach or Swiss chard wood. So I bring them back to the kitchen and you can see me chopping. I'm also chopping the, do you call the stalk or the stems? So I don't throw away anything. I chop them and after chopping them, I always like to pour hot water on my green vegetables so i pour hot water on them and then just let them to soak in and soften a little bit for like five to ten minutes i find this just brings out the the flavor in them 
I'm just used to it and I really think it is beneficial. Even it cuts the time for your cooking in half. So after soaking for three to five minutes, I drain out the water and I leave them on a colander. Here I have some herbs that I'll be using. I have the garlic chives, I have the parsley, I have the tarragon, and I have oregano. These are all from my garden and uh, you can use whatever herbs that you like or you can you can also use uh, just bought, bought from the store. It, it's okay. It doesn't have to be fresh. So next into the pot, we are going to add uh, our chopped onions. We're going to add the cooking oil and a bit of salt. We let it cook for two to three minutes and after we, we are going to add the garlic. So we had chopped some garlic earlier and so we are going to add it and let it cook for another two to three minutes. So afterwards, we're going to come back and we are going to add our oregano and our garlic chives. Let this cook for further two to three minutes. Because I don't want it to burn, so I will be adding a little bit of the chicken stock. That I had uh, saved from uh, earlier cooking and so then I cover it just for a minute and then later when I come back I'm going now to be adding my uh, beetroot leaves So then I will cover the beetroot leaves and just let it cook for a few minutes. You don't want to overcook it too much. So at the far end, I'm cooking my, this is called ugali. It's, um, it's an, a cultural food. So that is what I'm going to be having with these beetroots. So we come back to the beetroots. And they have softened. You don't want to cook the beetroots for too long. So we, they, this has been cooking for roughly about 7 to 8 minutes. And this is how it looks. And now we are going to add the rest of the herbs.
finally now this is the game changer we are going to be adding coconut so this is ground coconut cream you can add the coconut cream the liquid one but this is the dry one that has i have just grated it i like using this because it's it's not watery and it doesn't add any water to the beetroot because beetroot is already has its own water it's giving off water even without me adding so i've just added the ground cream dry cream is coconut and um, it gives this beetroot oh that nice flavor and you can't taste the bitterness and it's it's just flavorful and so delicious guys i just can't explain how this meal tastes so good So recently I've been harvesting loads of coriander from my garden and uh, I can't let it go to waste. So at the end of everything, I'm going to be topping it all up with some coriander just to give it that little different kind of flavor. it guys our meal is ready the beetroot leaves they are so yummy it's so delicious and it's very very nutritious guys so don't throw away your beetroot leaves cook it in any way you can add the coconut milk or you can just keep that step you can take away some herbs if you don't like uh, like them but just make sure you cook it into your favorite recipe these are very nutritious and very good for our body. So thank you so much guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed for, to this channel, kindly do so. Thank you so much for always watching my videos. And uh, I would kindly ask you to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. So this is the end result. This is how my meal looks like guys and I enjoyed it. If I tell you I enjoyed it, oh my god, I really did. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching and bye-bye.